Today in Minecraft, I'm gonna buy a failing business and try to turn it into a successful empire. So first thing I gotta do is find a business for sale on my Minecraft server. Guys, I see a buying opportunity here for the right price. Now, number one tip in negotiating, guys, is never ever tell them your price first. Because if they say a price, you can anchor them with a super low ball. 500K was my price. He's already said, I'll think about it once I get a better offer. All right, he's gonna see if he can get a better offer. Guys, after one hour, I got one right here. It's gonna cost me $200,000 and it has officially been sent to this player and this should make us so much money, it will be off the charts. The idea is exploding out of my mind. Guys, this is a good look. This girl, very talented builder, has now sold me this base for $200,000. I bought a fairly good looking base. You've got an indoor farm, carrots. You've got wheat. You've got storage. You've even got a beautiful mine. You've got the bedroom complete with chests. A beautiful setup bed right there. I don't know what you call that. Enchanting room, even a little armor stand. Very just iconic. So you might be thinking, Zach, how are you going to improve a base that already looks this good? You'll see. A lot of times, players sell base and they overpromise and under deliver. That is the opposite of what you want to be doing. And so today, our plan is to underpromise and overdeliver by saying that we're going to be selling a base that we located right here. But what players won't know is that there is an entire secret base underground. Okay, so I'm looking at the base, trying to get like what type of blocks I should be using for this. And it looks like spruce and stone and a little bit of oak and cobble. This is very detailed down here. I'm thinking turn this into some water elevators. You know, do a little construction here, make this a little more automatic. This is a little bit too newbie for us. Do I want to leave it like a pond? I don't think so. I don't really like the pond look, to be honest. Hmm, or do I? We're going to try to keep it as a pond and the entrance is right here. So theoretically, we could make this a bubble elevator that goes up. So I've got to drain the entire thing to then just fill it back up. That's kind of where we're at right now to get this thing to work correctly. All right, there we go. A successful bubble elevator. Now, I don't have a way down yet, but I'm not a fan of the elevators that take you down. I'm actually a fan of just jumping into a hole because it's a lot faster. So make a hole that is right here. Right here. No, right here. Yes, right here. This it seems like as good of a spot as any to have a giant hole in the ground. So... Oh my goodness, I just guessed and I got a perfect central drop right here. You can't make that up. Okay, you really forget how expensive slime balls are on their server, but it's gonna be worth it. We now got the easy way in and out. I think that's already a massive improvement off of what we had. So let's go ahead and block clutch it. Oh, and we do. And that's how you get inside. Does it work on carpet? Oh, and it does. I'm trying not to get too crazy, but this is what I'm gonna do, all right? I'm just gonna go with my gut and it says, make a glass floor on top of the water here. That way you can look down and kind of see like a little bit of an aquarium. Just work with nature here, guys. Don't fight against it. There we go. Look at that. So that is our floor pattern for the top room. By a little bit of spruce wood and by a little, I mean uh, an immense number of it. To be honest, we need like fat stacks of it. So maybe we'll do like a little something like this, a little bit of like a circle around it to say, hey, this is where you jump down. This is where you get to the second. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Say, hey, this is where you get to the second floor where all the magic happens happens. Eventually, I do want to change out the whole column, make it look better. And then around it is where we can now take all of our spruce and start filling it in. I'm trying to decide if I want to square this off. I think I will because that'll really pull it together. Look at that. If that isn't interesting, I don't know what is. Maybe take a couple of oak logs and kind of round off the corners here. If I do a three on each side, then I can clear out the rest of this tree and I get a new wall. You know, two for one. Why not? So I like that. I like a little bit of a, a wall that kind of curls up around the side. It seems really cool to me. Who knew trees would be? Oh, and just another big tree too. Who knew these things would be the worst in the world? I mean, this is probably one of the worst inventions ever. All right. So that looks kind of cool. Now. I didn't mean to fall in there. I'm having a lot of issues right now. <laughs> I fall into things I shouldn't be falling into. Now we got a couple lanterns. These are going to fit on top of some slabs. Okay, so my vision here is you want to have a. Oh, I fall into this every second. A little bit of stone to cap it off. That's a pretty darn grand window right there when you walk into the base. You got the elevators here. I don't know if it's going to be annoying to people that it's off center, but like it is organic in a way. I'm integrating the natural landscape. Uh, except that floating tree right there. Maybe we take care of that real quick. That's going to it's gonna trigger some of you guys, and I know it will, so. You're welcome. Now, I also think it might look cool to... Oh, uh, <laughs> I keep falling. I think it would be cool to taper it in like that so it curls in. You got two lanterns right there. That's kind of a clean look. Oh, I can't... This is this is not a joke. I, I'm done. I'm done. I got to put the trap door down. I can't do this anymore. This is not a joke. I just can't stop falling in. Now, we no longer have to worry about falling into the great void. Oh, my goodness. Look how nice that is. We can put some pots up there, a little detail. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to continue this pattern all along the wall down here on each side, like bring it all the way back. I mean, for some reason, it just looks like a boat that got stuck. So this is going to where it's going to lead down to like the second layer right here. And we'll expand it a little bit. And this will kind of like appear like the main base. I think that came out kind of good. I like the pattern we made here. I like the stripped look, the stripped into the that's it. The stripped look, the stripped look, the stripped look. All right, I know what I'm doing. Finally. It's not bad. I mean, it, it's weird with the stone. I don't love it. I don't dislike it. Now that I do like. It looks not bad. 
lot of my builds are kind of just like, boy, I sure hope this doesn't end up looking terrible at the end of it. So that looks kind of cool. You've got like stone highlights coming in. It's just a very grand looking front window thing. We've bought scaffolding and I forgot the entire time until right now, but hey, at least we got it. All right, it's gonna make our job a little easier here. I'm gonna try to give it a beautiful trim around the sides just like this. All right, now let's get the roof in here and I'm going to give it a beautiful design with a little bit of depth in it. I'm about to die from building this base. Oh, I'm still alive, lovely. I thought, I thought that was the end right there. Mm. 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 Come on, what the heck? Are they gonna make me do this? Now that is a pretty darn good looking main room right there. What I don't like though is that you can't really see out of these windows usefulness wise, that they don't really have a lot of it. So I was thinking like I could add like some staircases that lead you up, but that sounds kind of tacky. We made such a good buy with this base. I mean, downstairs really pulls it together. I feel like the upstairs might even be costing us a little bit because it looks so much worse than what this original player's design. All right, I think that looks kind of good, to be honest with you. You still can't see out the windows, but I think once it turns the daytime, you got that sunrise centered right there. It's gonna look really good in the house. We've got to figure out what this back area is gonna be. And like my first thought was we could make it an outdoor patio or something, because it already kind of has that vibe. The problem is, is that this is a giant door and I it wouldn't make sense to do that. Let me sit down one second. Gotta switch it up every now and then. Oh, there it is. Nope, bring it down, bring it down. No, 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 down, please. Oh, there we go, this feels great to sit again. Look at that sunrise. That is the million dollar view that we're after right there. If that doesn't look like it's about to make a lot of cash, I don't know what will. Honestly, take a minute, make that your phone background because that is Why I gotta be, why I gotta be doing that right now, all right? That's a little bit too much. I'm, I'm, I'm working here, you can't be thundering on me. I'm getting inspiration so much from the original build. I have not, I cannot even tell you how many times I've gone down to this hole to look at the designs that this player's made and be like, oh yeah, that's pretty good. Let me do that. Nobody. Tree's getting in my way. That's a good meme, guys. See it on r slash loverfellow with all the other memes and cursed things. r slash loverfellow is my subreddit. Be there or perish in flames. Is this the middle? If it's not, it will be. Oh, oh, this looks fantastic. Yes. Oh my days. This is just something spectacular right now. There we go. Okay, that's cool. So yeah, I closed off the ceiling right there. The fences actually like look super good on this. I'll tell you what, not a big fan of the old uh, the old treetop crafting tables, but sometimes you've got to make a risky play. Risky play, treetop crafter coming in hot. Ooh, I think that's the move. Yep, that's the move right there. That's the new ceiling height. There it is. See, I took the, I took the thing down this time. No damage for me yet. Oh boy, that sucks. Oh my. We really be placing blocks everywhere except where I want them to go today. If I, if I fall here, it's over. There we go. Spruce it up. Down to a single heart. I, I don't know. I don't trust myself to not take damage and actually die from that. So I'm going to give these little slots like some sort of like alternative use. Oh, got the idea already. Zach, you're a genius. Thank you. So I think that'll look kind of cool and tie it together. And then to make this look better, we need a better form of lighting. Look at that piece of oak. Got him. It's a crafting table. See that guy's little, little trickery right there. Played a joke on you. Got him. Little joke action. Ugh. This looks pretty good. So maybe we'll do like some bars down here and just give this like a nice good old fashioned, like just kind of just a good feel to it. You know, something like that. Who the heck is this? What's a random dude here? Some random dude just got into my base. I'm not sure how it's kind of confusing to me. I'll just point out. I'm not sure who that is. <laughs> oh, he's dying. Look, someone just came to my base and he died. I don't know how he got down there. Tried to come out of the elevator and just perished. It's really sad to be honest, but not our problem, I guess, at the end of the day. Okay, now this is where things get a little bit tricky. We've cleared out so many trees. You can now see there's clearly a neighbor right in front of us and a neighbor that has a pretty newbie base, no less. So we've got to design this like barn type thing in a way that they really can't see the neighbor or in a way that he's more hidden than that. So we really don't want that. I'm gonna put this real close to his property line. Sorry, dude. I just, I don't want you here. I'm gonna be honest with you. All right, it's too close for comfort. Look how much difference the trees made. We got it lit up back there. Ooh, I kind of like that. You could split it like that. Fill in the end. Uh, ooh, ooh, yes, yes, yes. This is it. All right. <laughs> now that absolutely came together way better than I thought it would. And the best part of all of this is now on the shelf here. We can actually put a couple decorations down. This is where the money is made. Do not forget this on your own builds. First things first, let's clear this out. We don't need these next to each other because a beautiful flower goes in. Put a little ladder action here. And then you've got your beautiful absolutely stunning bookshelf with a music thing right there a pot right in the center look at that that's all i did and it pulled it together this side could use a little bit more the thing doesn't make sense to be above the ladder okay now the inside looks
looks great. The outside looks like an abomination has been created here. Another little bonus item. I just happened to snag an ender chest for only $5,000 on the auction house. I think they're worth like 50,000. So that was a pretty good steal. Uh, like I said, though, I want to do a park back here. The problem is I'm really limited in what items I have left. And so the best way to do it maybe is just to kind of make it a nice path and just kind of showcase like, hey, you've got your own mine over here. Kind of a big deal. There we go. Nice little walkway. I think it's a little bit too thin for me, to be honest. That's uncomfortable. I just wanted to give them just a little bit of something maybe to make it like their own little tiny crafting area or something down here. Okay, that is awesome. I love what we've done over here. I love the path we're creating. Maybe just give them like access to their neighbor as well. Maybe they'll end up becoming friends. We don't know that they'll hate it. Oh, there it is. The bone meal is pulling it together. And then a couple of flower pots along the way just so you have just a little bit more lighting. Let's fix this wall though. This thing's kind of nasty. Wow, I actually feel like, I feel like this thing looks pretty fire right now. This is really aesthetic. Like this thing should pull a big profit. And I hope it does because we put a lot of money in to it. A lot of love, a lot of heart, a lot of passion. So this thing better come out and pull us some money. Oh, I did that and I put one stair incorrectly. Maybe the buyer won't notice. Now we've got a beautiful door. The, the front of it isn't really perfect. I like how it looks though a lot better than it was. The side again, also not perfect. It looks better than it was. I believe you can dye signs if I'm not mistaken. Yes, that's not the right color though. I don't think that's, that ain't it. Okay, it still isn't as bright as I thought, but maybe without shaders, people can read it better. I'm gonna put down like some fake facts inside of this to like just straight up lie to them and just say like, yo, this base took three weeks and five people to make. I'm gonna put another sign over here and be like, this farm was blessed by Loverfella himself. Literally, I'm gonna bless it right now. I bless this farm. There you go. It's not a lie. All right. It's not a lie. Price starts at one milli. I feel like we're ready to get this bad boy on the market. Price starts at a mil. I gotta, I gotta, oops. I, I should probably fix that so people can actually go up. That's not good. Oh no. All right. And it's perfect timing. It is actually daytime right now. So let's get this bad boy on the market. All right. So far, my major plan of having them start upstairs and come downstairs is not working. So now I'm gonna start them downstairs and then have them go upstairs. So they'll start down here and be like, oh, very cool, very cool. What's upstairs? Thinking it's maybe not anything. They pop up and realize it's a whole nother base. So maybe that's going to be what we need to do. See, now they're just looking at her work. I got a very rich player here. I really, really hope this is the one for us. Seems like it's a girl. This base was designed by a girl. It seems like we may have found the perfect connection, but let's let it play out. All right, I'm giving her a snack. Welcome to the open house. Enjoy it. Take it. Come on, Sarah. Come on, Sarah. Okay, she thinks she noticed there's a neighbor. I don't like that. I don't like that. I need this to work. Please, Sarah, be the one that buys it. Please. She seems interested. She's been here for like probably five minutes. She said, how much you ask? And I said, a million but open for negotiation. Like I said, guys, you got to anchor high. She said, was lover fella here? I said he was. He'll prove it in a week or so. He did bless it. This could be good. This could be good. The blessing strategy works. I just got to bless my builds when I sell it. Price will triple. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know, man. I'm just trying to get the sale out here. She said 650. I hit her with 750. That would be almost a 4X profit. That is actually a legit massive sale. 700. Whoa, 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 Sarah. I said 750. I'll just say thanks. I'm happy with it. Okay, thank you. That's a pretty solid deal there. Drop a comment down below with your idea on how I can make money next. And I'll put you in the video if we use your idea. Peace.